Okay. Hi, my name is Harmony Bailey. I'm a sophomore broadcast journalism major and a media manager for the men's basketball team. Today I'm here with Mr. Allen Houston. I have a couple questions for you. Today your clothing line will be featured in the 2023 student fashion show. What does it mean to you to see Howard students wearing your brand? Well, first of all, great to see you again. She came in last year and just like busted on the scene and doing your thing. I'm so proud of you and um, it's great to be back. Uh, last year when I came, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, the brand is called Fizzle. It's an acronym for Faith, Integrity, Sacrifice, Leadership, and Legacy. Um, and our mission is to really promote these values as values to, for people to become, uh, to just be, to live better, perform better, and lead better. And um, through these values, we feel like people can learn themselves, make an impact, um, and the fashion and media aspect of what we're doing allows students, allow people uh, to engage in the creative process and learn not only how things are created, how to build a firm foundation for your life, but also build a firm foundation for the product that you're creating, but also build a firm foundation for yourself and being able to um, see, the, see the students at Howard go through the process of creating design. I think our team at Fizzle really wanted to make sure that they had a, an experience where they could really learn and develop. And um, it, just to see like the satisfaction on their faces that this is something that we created from scratch. You know, we, we went on Zoom and we showed them some of the, the process that we take and now they can literally feel, touch, and wear um, things that they made and see it in fruition and see it in the stores and they'll be able to see uh, people on campus actually wearing what they created. I think that's an incredible process. Yes, 100%. I want to say thank you so much. It's so good to see you too. And I'm so excited to see the fashion show tonight. So if you're going, make sure to stay tuned and keep an eye out for his brand. My next question is, it's homecoming week. You're on campus. How does it feel to be back during this time? And what are you looking forward to most? Well, I'm looking forward to the fashion show, of course. Uh, I won't be able to, to see all the other festivities, but you know, homecoming at any school is fun. But to walk through the homecoming here at Howard is, is special. You know, I won't get to see the concert, um, but I just like to hear, you know, just talking to the guys about, yeah. you know, their experience at homecoming. I'm sure people will be visiting from other schools and, you know, you'll have people visiting college during this time because it is the time that you really get to see, um, or one of the times you really get to see what the school is about and, and the people come together. And it, it makes a big difference because they get to show like how is how how it is special. You've been you've visited the program two consecutive years in a row, and the guys have brought back a MEAC championship since the last time you've been here. What advice do you have for the guys as they're heading into the new season, and how have they impressed you since the last time you've been here? Well, even the first time I came, you know, when I spoke to Coach Blakeney and, um, and and you know Daniel about what they're trying to do here at the program. You, you, knew, you know it takes time to build a really a winning culture and success, but the one thing that I was impressed with is just their character, just who they are as people, their uh, level of attention to just the bigger picture in life, and that's what college is about. Right? Yeah. It's about learning yourself and learning what matters in the big picture while you're still competing, and they, tend, they have that. I think now, I mean, just listening to the things that they're saying now about how intentional they have to be to carry on the same level of dedication and level of keeping a standard of success or for success. Um, they have new players coming in, so there's a challenge to introducing them to the new to the culture and the level of work that it takes. Anytime you've had success, then you got a target on your back. Yeah. So. Um, I'm, I'm interested, interested to see. I think they, they know how hard it, it was to get here, but now there's a different level of challenge and, and, and difficulty and obstacles that they're going to face, and uh, I think they're, re they're ready to do it. They're yes. ready to do it because um, they've created something that they don't want to go substandard anymore. Anything else you'd like to share? 
I'm just I'm just happy to uh, continue this partnership. Um, you know, to do something two de- two two years in a row. Yeah. To be back and not just to be here for a fashion show, not just to be here to you know to walk around campus, but to really get to visit and hear from the hearts of the students is is really what what you know makes me uh, satisfied. I mean, I have seven children, you know, of my own, and and. I think part of the brand identity is we, we really want to empower our youth. We really want to give them a pathway and um, help, them, help them see what's possible and have values and faith and character be something that they can really stand on that, that gives them success. And I, I, get to, I get to not just to see it from a distance, but I get to experience it. And uh, I'm just grateful that Howard can, um, can partner with us to do that. Thank you very much. (laughs) Thank you.